Hey everybody, um, it's Rob here. Uh, it's been 84 years and I can still smell the fresh paint. I don't know about you guys, but um, welcome back. It's been a long time. I do apologize. Uh, life, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Um, well, uh, I was hoping that even though it's been a while, I could maybe talk to you guys, catch up, uh, maybe a little whip parade. <laughs> um, tis the season after all. Uh, and I guess I, I want to start by saying a thank you to everybody that's, that's come back this time. I, I know it's been a while, but you know, uh, on my last video, there were a few people that, that, uh, that, that wanted to know about my tattoos. So I thought I would give a little, uh, a tease, so to speak. Um, so this was actually, um, my first tattoo and it's from a video game. I'm a complete nerd. So you're welcome. Anyways. Uh, I'm not going to show any haul. I do have a couple of finishes. Um, I guess I should say, I should have said this to begin with. You can find me here. Uh, channel is Zav Stitches, Z-A-V. Um, you can also find me on Instagram. Uh, it's the same. There's an underscore. Z is in zebra. A is in alpha. V is in victor. Underscore. Stitches. That's with two T's. Um, but yeah. So I guess uh, we'll we'll start with finishes. Um, if anybody's been following me on Instagram, they would have seen it by now. But I'll go ahead and show them off now for those that maybe don't follow me on Instagram. So uh, let's see here. Apologies, I am surrounded by shit. It's a little overwhelming. Um, so I guess I'll I'll start with one of one that I have actually. I guess nearly FFO'd. That's uh, fully finished. I found a frame. Luckily, it's a uh, it's an oval frame. This is um, this is actually a stitch along that I did with uh, Garrett Coffee Stitcher and Bart, who is uh, Park Hopper Bart. Uh, both of which are found here on YouTube, FlossTube, and on Instagram. Uh, anyways, so. I found this oval frame. I think it was at a flea market. It was a flea market, but I'm not sure if I love it or not. It's not. It's not completely finished, but uh, I'm not sure if I love the frame or not. It's. It might be painted in the future. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But so this is a uh, this is Beauty and the Beast. Um, it came from a book. Fables and Fairy Tales to Cross Stitch. I think it's, it's a French book. Veronique in Ginger. Uh, hard to find. Possibly expensive. But then I've heard that there are, there are other ways to get this. Um, less expensive ways. Anyways. So that was finished since last you saw me, surely. Um, another finish I have here. This is. Uh, this is the Raven. Uh, this design is by Primitive Hair. Uh, I finished this on a. Let's see here. This is a 32 count. It's a 32 count Three Wishes by. Oh man, I can't remember. Um. I know I have it written down. Hold on. That's not fair to you guys. I apologize. So 32 count. Okay. Yeah. So it's a 32 count. Three wishes. This is uh, Ship's Manor. Um, 
Let's see here. What else do I have? I've got this finish. Actually, it was relatively new finish for me. This is, uh, did I not write this down? This is, a. Uh, Oof. Ah, trying to help you guys see. This is a uh, Blackwood and Briar Know Thyself. You can find her on Etsy. Um, I dyed the fabric myself. I think I I used maybe one, one or two of the called for colors. Uh, the rest I substituted with uh, colored cotton color and cotton um, that I had from Stash. Um, I love it. I, I think it was, uh, hmm, I think it was Diana of It Is Kismet. Um, she is also on Floss Tube and on Instagram. An amazing inspiration to us all, to say the least. Uh, I'm really, I'm really glad that I took the time to do this, and it really, it, it took a week of stitching, I think, uh, to get this finished. It was beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, and then, let's see here, I also finished, this is a uh, wild violet cross-stitch design, it's a Hocus Pocus. This is one that It only took a couple of days to finish because I had most of the house done, but um, I made I made a couple of changes to the design, changed the color of the door, uh, changed the color of the smoke, etc. Um, I love this one. I need to I need to figure out how I'm going to finish it. I think I might I think I might do this one as a flat fold or even just as a flat finish, just to have for seasonal decor but anyways so those those are my finishes uh again i'm not going to be doing any haul it's just it's going to be a long video you'll be okay uh it, and it's been such a long time i think that putting you guys through haul would just be hurtful anyways uh so now we're gonna get to the the whip parade part um do yourself a favor get yourself a drink a snack what have you. All right, so here we go, kids. All right, so um, first up we have, this is a Owl Forest Embroidery, a kit that I got. This is the Sea King. Um, I'm doing this on the, the called for fabric. He's got, he's got a little, uh, it's like a DMC metallic thread, some some beads, you know, for flavor, right? It's just it's what we do. Um, I have this in a Love You More Studio sleeve. This was actually the first one that I ever got, but um, so let's see here. I made. I made a few changes. Um, I think I, I changed the color of the octopus. Um, and I'm using this, uh, I think it's Rainy Days Classic Color Works, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I've started to put a bit of the metallics in there. And I think for this one, I actually ended up, um, I ended up using petite treasure bait instead of the, I, I want to say it's a DMC metallic that the kit comes with. Um, and I changed, I changed it all out. I love the way it's turning out. Now the whole, the whole bottom side where his tail is, um, it's all going to get covered up with backstitch anyways. So I figured it's okay if it looks stripey. It's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see here. And uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm going to be putting these up as, as I finish showing them off because um, it's going to be a mess to clean up 
regardless because it's a shit show. It really is. There's there's crap everywhere. Um, all right, so next up we have, this is uh, Galaxy Stag. Um, this is actually, I think it's, it's my oldest whip, if I'm not mistaken. I found this on, uh, on Etsy. I'm doing this on a 16 count Ada that I coffee tea dyed myself. Um, the designer is plan to stitch. That's the number two. Um, and I think I've, I've gotten about halfway. I'm about halfway through. So I basically have the, the bottom half of the stag. It's kind of a bust. Yeah, it's a bust. Um, I really love the way this looks. It's, it's kind of got like a watercolor effect to it without the, the fade to nothing. Um, but yeah. And uh, I guess I, I'll try and put in a, uh, a picture of it if I can. Uh, this one, I may not be able to. I, I tried to look it up before I recorded this video and I'm not sure if the designer is still on Etsy. It might not be. I don't know. Could be copyright. Could be any number of things. I I really don't know. Uh, but I, if I can, I'll I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. I can't can't make any promises, especially on that one. I I tried to look it up, and it's just it, it's like it doesn't exist. Um, anyways, so the next one I have here, this is the Fairy Queen. I'm doing this from this book. Oops, sorry for the glare. Uh, this is a magical cross stitch. Um, I was unable to get this. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I think it was Jennifer Upton. She recommended this on a video like a year ago. And um, I saw it. And th there's like a series of three... Um, Three fairies. There's like a sorceress and an earth fairy, and then there's the fairy queen. Um, so I'm doing this. Uh, this is the fairy queen. Apologies. I'm doing this on a 28 count even weave. This is a this is a no name. It was from Fortnite Fabrics. Sorry. Um, as you can see, I've barely gotten started on it. Um, my thinking was that. Uh, I would not have to do like the, well, you'll, you'll see it in the, in the picture that I show. Oof. Uh, I thought that I might not have to do the background. There's a lot of fill-in stitching in the frame. Uh, I thought that I would probably not have to do that if I use this fabric. Uh, so hopefully that will work out to my, to my benefit. Um, so that's the Fairy Queen Magical Cross Stitch. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe I can show you what it looks like. So that whole, that whole center area there, um, inside the frame. I thought that might have, might not have to fill that in if I use the fabric. So my thinking anyways, um. Let's see here. Next up we have, this is Ink Circles. Um, this is Elemental Dragon's Water. Uh, this is a, one of four she's done. She's done one for each of the elements, Earth, Air, Fire, Water. Um, I've only started two of them. This is Water. This is the second one I've started. It, it's not terribly too far in. Um, I'm doing this on a doing this on a 28 count Lugana. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. 28 count Lugana. This is a uh, title by Picture This Plus. Don't, sorry, I'm not sure which, which way is up. Huh. Um, so I've gotten 
I've gotten a good bit done, not too terribly much, but similar to my Elemental Dragons Earth, I'm planning on doing each of the dragons in a different color. Um, all from from stash, uh, over dyed, cotton, silks, you name it. It's really just whatever whatever appeals to me. Um, I really love this piece. I'm I, I'm doing each of these on a 28 count um, so that I can frame them in a, a similar frame and have them as like a collection, I guess you could say. Um, we'll see what happens. I've barely, barely uh, started on those. Uh, next up we have, this is Blackbird Designs Octopus's Garden. This is uh, part of their mystery ma magical mystery tour. Um, they did a series of these for the Beatles. I've got two of them. Um, this one and Strawberry Fields. Strawberry Fields Forever. Um, and I need to get Yellow Submarine for sure. Um, and I think the fourth one is Blackbird. I'm... I might be wrong. I may be wrong. Anyways, so I've got this one here. This is, I'm doing it on a 27 count. It's, it's an overdyed blue. Uh, fabrics by Catherine. Um, this is one that I might need to kind of rethink. Oop, sorry about the threads. My goodness. Apparently I just parked it and left it. <laughs> um, this is one that I might need to rethink the colors. Uh, a lot of the called for colors, they look too much like this fabric or too much like the color that's immediately next to it. Um, and most of the colors on this one I'm, I'm doing um, with color and cotton. Uh, I've kind of made a substitution on some of the colors, like the tree, for example. I think that's color and cotton bracken, if I'm not mistaken. Bracken or brass, I can't can't remember which. Um, this is one that I might need to take some time to kind of figure out what's what works, what doesn't, uh, especially on the fabric and with all the colors next to it, it, it may take some work. So we'll, we'll get back to that another day. Uh, let's see here, next. Let's see here, this is uh, the blue flower. Uh, Night Walk Down. Here we are. Absolutely stunning. Stunning work of art, if I do say so myself. Um, the designer of the Blue Flower, I think it's Je Janine McGowan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she is such a way, such a way with, uh, with her designs. They're all so beautiful. Um, I am doing this on a 36 count. This is a Fortnite Fabrics. I think this was uh, the January fabric of the month. Um, let's see here. And I don't have the hugest start on this. Apologize for the creases. A lot of my um, older whips, there's, they've been put away for a while. But um, you can see I have quite a bit of the lady done and the cat. I started on the vine work. Um, this is another one of the designs that I kind of, I didn't have all of the overdyes that it called for, so I pulled from stash. Stash is mostly color and cotton. Um, I do have a few co uh, classic color works and, and general arts and things, but I think most of this is, uh, most of this is color and cotton. So. I, I do appreciate your patience as I put each of these up because I am afraid that if I don't put them up, it's, uh, it's going to give me a headache later. Um, we'll see what happens there. 
All right. Um, next up we have, this is the Ink Circles, uh, the Bramble and the Bro Bramble and the Rose. Yeah. And if you know me, you might realize that I have a a problem with ink circles. Um, I think I I started so many of her designs that it might be the thing that I work on until the end of my days. Anyways, um, I am doing this on. Um, another Fortnite Fabrics. This is one of their fabrics of the month. Um, this one's called Hint of the Woods. It's, uh, I have a dark brown, purpley brown. I'm using, I'm using, uh, what is this? This is Silken Colors, and the color is, what is the color called? The color is Pond Scum. It's this yellow-green, kind of a... I don't know how to describe it without being gross, but it's kind of... It's that color. Um, but I think that on this, on this fabric, it just... It pops. It makes sense. I just love the way that this fabric is like this... Um, it's it's a purple brown. I think I've described it as such before, but it's the only way to really describe it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, let's see here. Next up we have, this is another Ink Circles. Surprise. This is um, Elemental Dragon's Earth. Uh, this one I'm, um, I'm actually pretty close to finishing. I think I've only, I've only got a couple more of the dragons to get, to get stitched. Um, oops, sorry. Just dropping shit left and right. Um, alright, so I'm doing this one on a 28 count. This is, uh, Ink Circle's campus, pompous, whatever you want to call it. It's a type of grass. Um, here we are. Ooh, that's the back of it. Not bad. There we go. Much better. As I have threads just hanging out willy-nilly. Apologies. Um, so, like I said, I'm doing this... Uh, from stash, just on whatever calls to me. I think that, that that kind of olive green there at the bottom, actually both of the, the colors at the bottom. This is a, this is a Carrie's Creations uh, cotton thread. It's called Olives. And then this one up here, this is, uh, this is actually a Mississauga's Mojito, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I like that it's kind of got that blue to it, but this one I'm, I'm ashamed of myself for not having finished it sooner because there's really not that much left and um, I kind of made it easier for myself by, only, by, by working on it the way that I have. Um, oh. We'll see, we'll see, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll finish it next year. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's see here. Again, thank you for your patience as I put this crap up. Alright, uh, next next is this is uh, this is one that I'm gonna have to find a cover photo for because I don't have one. Um, and if I can find one, I'm going to insert it here. 
and this is one that I really don't have a whole lot of progress on. It's a, I'm doing this on a 36 count by XG Designs. Uh, it's called Midnight Ride, if I'm not mistaken. The design is called Raven Moon Nevermore by Kanikis. K A N I K I apostrophe S. Uh, and this is, I think that this is the right way to hold it. Maybe it's this way. But I've gotten a few bats done and I started the moon. Um, I think I hit my first hurdle on this because it's called for an overdyes, um, gentle arts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and one of the overdyes is ginger stab, ginger snap, uh, by gentle arts. Uh, the ginger snap that I got was like neon white and excuse me. Whew. Whew. Sorry, excuse me. Um, it's almost white, but the it's supposed to be an orange, right? For the for the moon here, it's like a harvest moon. And I love the way the colors are working up on this. Um, but I had to substitute for a DMC. I just just to keep it going. So that's as that's as far as I've gotten. It's a it's a big ass moon. Um, if you don't mind me saying, and we'll we'll get we'll get back to her one day um, when the when the mood strikes me. All right, uh, let's see here. Next, this is uh, this is another uh, this is another ink circles. This one is woodland vines. And this is what she looks like. Alright, and I am doing this one on a 32 count oaken by, by Picture This Plus. I am doing this one in Gentle Arts Storm Clouds. And this, this is as far as I've gotten. So I've got the center motif, but, but that's it, pretty much. Yeah, you, you, you can kind of see the variegation there. I like Storm Clouds because it's, it's kind of got like this green blue and then there's a uh, kind of a punch of neon there, a neon yellow or a neon green depending on what skein, or I guess, uh, not skein, um, color, lot, dye lot, that's the word dye lot, uh, depending on what dye lot you get, uh, sometimes it can be a, ye a yellow, or sometimes it can be like a neon green, alright, uh, next up, <clears throat> Next up we have, this is Quaker Into the Forest by Michelle Inc. Uh, this was actually, I, I want to say this was her late 20, 2020 Nashville Market release. It was, it wasn't, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe that it was actually at market, but it wasn't released until almost immediately after market. Uh, this is one that I, I, I got pretty much immediately after it was released because I absolutely love this. Now, there are a few motifs that you can barely see. They're kind of uh, an off-white on this pale green fabric. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing it in the called fours, but uh, mostly because of the fabric that I chose, which is um, a 40... 40 count swamp by uh, picture this plus uh, let's see here I don't have a huge a huge start on it uh, but here we are 
so you can see I've done that main uh, Quaker motif there and started on some of the smaller motifs. Uh, I'm not sure I love the pink bird. <laughs> I kind of wanted to put something in there that would pop. Um, but on this fabric, on this on this fabric, I'm not sure if if it works, and especially with the other colors that I've used. It's like a kind of a oil spill, kind of a green, yellow, blue there at the bottom. I'm not sure. I may pull it out, uh, but that's that's a that's a problem for tomorrow. For tomorrow's Rob, you can deal with that later. I'm I'm busy. I got I got too much shit to do. It's fine. Um, so that was Quaker into the forest, Michelle Inc. All right, and. Next up we have, this is, um, this is Itty Bitties by Kelsons, Ke 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 Keslins, apologies. It's kind of a, mini motifs. Of course you can do them you can do them separate. You can do them however the hell you want to. There's, it's it's called for uh, Gloriana's Silk and Colors Week Dye Works Carrie's Creations, which Carrie's Creations is is really hard to get. She doesn't. I don't think she dies anymore. I know that there are certain people that still have them that might be uh, likely to sell them. The only I found them on eBay. Um, but I don't think I actually even have the color that this is that's called for in this design. Anyways, um, I'm doing this on a 27 count, uh, one over one, and apologies. I'm trying to give you a good good look. See, so I'm doing this on a 27 count. It's called Spotted Cream. Uh, this is a Fabrics by Catherine. Um, again, I'm doing this one over one. And I'm kind of just doing it however the hell I want. It's uh, I, My thought was that each row would be a different season. So colors that, are, uh, evoke, that evoke the season. So I think this, this first one is, uh, this is a Carrie's Creations. It's called Wild. Berry breeze, something similar. Forgive me, I don't, I don't recall. And each, as I go across, each motif will be uh, a color that evokes the season: spring, spring, summer, fall, winter. So there's that one. And next up we have this is a this is a Courtney collection um, Courtney collection the design is called Pelican and she is enormous and I don't mean that in a derogatory way she's a big she's a big girl she's she's quite large um, I am doing this on a, this is on a 32 count Lugana that I dyed myself. And I don't know if the color is going to really come off well. It's not terribly modeled. Uh, this is, as you can see, she's, she's on a big piece of fabric. Um, I'm doing her, uh, with well, uh, with a blend of DMC uh, 501 and 3765, and I don't have the biggest start, but 
here we are. Started in the top corner, and the oops, sorry, this is the end of the the bill. So you can, she will probably, eh, it's the back. Sorry, she'll probably take up most of this. I think this is a this is a half yard. So. We'll see. I, I really need to sit down and, and, and work on her. It's, <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't need to tell you how much of a bitch 2020 has been. Forgive me. I don't, forgive me for using that word. Uh, yeah, 2020 has been a year and it's been a year for a lot of us. A lot of us have experienced loss like we've never experienced it. Um, and for me, 2020 has, has been crazy. Sorry, I'm trying to get this back in the bag. Ugh. All right, next, next up we have, we have, this is a, a design by GGR. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it because... I'm terrible at French. Um, I think that loosely translated, it means the tree of life with animals. Um, I think I was first turned on to this by... I can't remember. There's, a, there's another version of this that has peacocks in it. And I was like, that's absolutely stunning. Anyways, I am doing this on a 25 count. Uh, the colorway is called Nyx, N-Y-X, by, uh, lost my thread, sorry. Uh, the colorway is called Nyx. The dyer is Under the Sea, Under the Sea Fabrics. I don't have a huge start on this. Started at the bottom, and of course, um, I've made a mistake, but I'm not going to tell you where. You'll have to figure it out for yourself. And uh, and I'm rolling with it, you know, because that's what you do. So I'm using uh. I'm using a silken colors. This is uh, the colorway is called Newt Green, and it it's not that fluorescent. It looks fluorescent on this. Uh, actually, here maybe you can see for yourself. It's not. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's the color of the fabric that makes that neon green, neon yellow pop. But that's one of the reasons that I chose it was because this this fabric is so dark. Um, they really needed something to make it pop. Anyways, this is a 25 count Lugana. I'm doing it one over one. Uh, uh, I need I need to pull it back out and work on it. I think that that, that can be said of almost every every fucking project that I have here going. Um, it just needs, it just needs some love. And I haven't, I haven't given anything as far as cross stitch is concerned, any love this year. Oh, well, last year. I always forget that it's actually 2021 now. Anyways, next up we have, this is, this is another Michelle Ink. Um, Design. It's called Quaker Gone Spooky. And there's the design. She's got it on this blue fabric, and you can barely see the uh, the gravestones. It's beautiful. Um, I think that I in intended to do this as a um, as a memorial sampler sampler for my father, who also passed away um, in 2020. Um, not related to COVID. He had 
and other health issues going on, cancer, etc. Anyways, um, I'm doing this on a 36 count. This is a uh, color is called color is sea salt by Color and Cotton, um, and this is this is as far as I've gotten. Um, <clears throat> So I'm working on the bottom corner there. Uh, I'm using the cod for for the animals and the tree and the leaves here are all silken colors. Um, I am using, I think it's a gentle arts for the, sorry, for the for the tombstones. I want to say it's tortoiseshell. It's one of the newer releases. It was. I think it was a exclusive, not exclusive. I don't know what the right word is for the 2020 Nashville market. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out how to design a dachshund in there. I know that it really doesn't fit with the design, but it's got an owl and a mouse and a bird and a cat. So I figure, you know, a dachshund wouldn't really hurt anybody. Um, for those of you that don't know, my dad, my dad was a dachshund lover. He loved his dachshunds. Um, anyways, next up we have, this is uh, Blackbird Designs Strawberry Fields Forever. Here we are. Uh, I started working on this because Amanda May, Art of the Design, she made me do it. She twisted my arm. She made me do it. So I started it. So I think it's a Strawberry Fields Forever Sal. I I don't know if she's if she's finished, she probably is finished. It would not surprise me. Um, I'm doing this on a 16 count Ada uh, that I tea and coffee dyed myself. I like it because it kind of looks like parchment. Um, apologies for the creases. I did not iron my older stuff. Uh, I've, I've started on the house. I love this house. This color is fucking stunning. Oh, forgive my language. Um, uh, this is as far as I've gotten. We're getting there. We're getting there. I need to, I need to pull this back out. And I think I have figured out a way to pull it out. And that way is that Garrett, coffee stitcher, has also got this as a whip. And those of you that don't know, he's working on WhipGo this year. Um, I am not because I'm a terrible person. Um, not that I'm a terrible, terrible person, but I'm lazy and I don't like sticking to things. I could barely do a sal, you know. Anywho, uh, next up we have, this is, this is a design by Homespun Elegance. Uh, wine is, coffee is, tea is. Uh, so it's actually three designs. There's one that says, coffee is a cup of bliss, tea is a cup of bliss, wine is bottled poetry. Uh, I, f I apologize, this, this right here. This is, uh, this is a scar of moving, kids. Uh, be careful with your needlework when you move, because I was not careful with this. There are a few things that got damaged in the move, unfortunately. Anyways, I am doing the wine is bottled poetry portion. Uh, I am doing it on a 40 count linen. Uh, it was described to me as olive. I don't know who the dyer is or anything like that. Um, it is a 40 count. I'm doing it one over two. Um, not doing it in the called for colors. And as you can see, I'm almost done. All I have to do is that kind of filigree looking leafy border on it. And it's done. I want to make, I want to do this one more time. As you can see, I've got enough fabric to do two. Got enough fabric to do two of them. 
Uh, I'm not going to try and squeeze the th third one on there. I want to make um, I want to make pin cushions for my lovely ladies, my maids of honor, um, who I wouldn't have been married without. Anyways, all right. Next up, we have this is another ink circles. This is reflections of Norway. It's kind of one of her mini designs. Not many as in multiple, many as in petite, uh, at least for her. Uh, I am doing this on, this is on a 16 count, 16 count Ada that I dyed myself. I'm doing this uh, with, uh, I guess, Gentle Arts. I don't have a skin in there, do I? Maybe I do. Hold on. Oh, it's Classic Color Works. Forgive me. It's Classic Color Works Navy Wavy. Uh -huh. And barely have any of this done. It's, uh, it's one that my husband asked me to do for him. And I think I started this in 20, I started this in 2018. And yeah, it's, it's not a hard stitch. I just haven't gotten around to it. Everything else is so much more enticing, I guess you could say. It's appropriate. Enticing. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Next up, we have, ooh, this was um, my first long dog sampler. This is Life After Death. I don't have the hugest of starts with this. I think that this was um, this was a New Year New Start. No, no, that's not what that was. It was um, uh, what's the word? Uh, leap year New Start. Yes, for those of us that that dealt with that, the leap year New Start. Um, I am doing mine on a big old honk of thirty six count. Sea Salt by Color and Cotton. I think I may have a thing for this for this fabric. I'm not sure. I'm doing the animals in a black silk. Um, and there's like ravens and owls and there's a bull and all that good stuff. Anyways, um, I've got this huge piece of fabric here. Excuse me as I. Yeah. All right. Well, this is this is where I'm at. I am doing this with a uh, this is a silks for you. It's a PR one four eight is the color name. This is beautiful, um, kind of blue, blue purple pink. Absolutely stunning, beautiful, beautiful silk. Um, I think that when I when I when I cut it, I made sure that I cut it where the uh, the blue was at the beginning and the end, so that it would be a lot easier to uh, seamlessly stitch with. But so I'm doing the um, the animals. The animals and the backstitch are all in that black silk. Excuse me while I put this up. All right. Next up, we have this is the all Hallows Eve Sampler by Joan Elliott. Uh, this was a relatively new design of 2020. Uh, I am not doing it as charted. I am removing the alphabet and the numbers. I know how to spell. I know how to use my numbers. Barely know how to talk though. So, um, 
maybe I should leave those in. But it's a little late for that. Um, I am not taking this off of the skull frame because if I do, that means that I'm not going to work on it again. So I am I am doing this on a 36 count. This is a another Fortnite Fabrics Fabric of the Month. Uh, I think the color is called Fairy Ring, if I'm not mistaken. And here's where I'm at. Um, as you can see, I've kind of made a few color changes. Uh, this is all, it's designed in black and 742 DMC, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I've pulled from, from Stash. I'm using a silk for the, for the branches here. Uh, there's a silk for this night sky, which I think looks, it looks fucking stunning. I love the way this looks. Um, <sighs> I just need to pull it out and work on it. But she's she's a big girl. She's a big girl, you know. Even even with me taking out the letters and the numbers, it's she's she's still she's still got a ways to go, you know. Anyway, all right. Um, let's see here. Next up, next up, next up we have Odin's Ravens. This is by Artists Alley. Uh, I think you can find this one on the Celtic CelticHobbies.com. Uh, I'll try and link this down below, or the, the site where I got this from, anyways. Uh, funnily enough, this this design is what um, inspired the invitations for the wedding uh the wedding that my husband and i had earlier this year uh the invitations use this this almost exact design minus minus the runes but um this was the inspiration for it uh i am doing this on a 16 count ada i dyed it myself and i am not using the called for colors it called for dmc as you can see i've kind of made it my own I may or may not have purposefully removed the eyes from the ravens, or the raven, the first one you see here, uh, but I'm loving the way this looks. I think that uh, it's got a ways, got a ways to go. The, the the filigree, the the knot work, the gray there that you see at the bottom, it it goes around down here you know so there's there's still quite a quite a bit to go but I think that somebody wants me to get that one done sooner rather than later so I'm gonna have to try and prioritize it I think uh, we'll see all right next up we have this is uh, this is my first nor Corbett um, I am doing, this is Snapdragon from the Pixie Blossom Collection. Uh, this is the, the first fairy big girl uh, design that really jumped out at me. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that's fucking stunning. I want to stitch it. Um, I am doing her on a 32 count, 32 count Meyer by Picture This Plus. Um, I was first turned on to this fabric by uh, the Kansas City girl in the Colorado, Colorado world, Julie, um, and I don't have I don't have a whole lot done, but you know the bottom her her dress there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of it's not bad. No, if I if I sat down and and did it, I'd be done with, done with the bottom half relatively quickly. Uh, the thing is, is that this, this 32 count, for whatever reason, it's tight. It's, it's a very tight weave. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, so much so that I decided to swap out the called for beads. Um, there's, I, I don't have them here. I'll have to, I'll have to talk to you guys about it later, uh, when I have more information, but excuse me. The beads that are called for in this 
excuse me, the, the beads that are called for in this, I thought were way too big. They crowded and they masked the, the stitches that were there. And I was not okay with that. Uh, and I think that it's because the, the weave is so tight, the stitches are smaller than a standard 32 count might be. Uh, so I, I substituted the, the called for beads. I haven't started beading, of course. I'm not going to bead until the very end. Uh, I am also planning to use a petite treasure blade braid for the black in her wings. Um, and I think that's going to look fucking stunning. So, um... I look forward to pulling her out. I have another uh, half of this fabric, and I'm I'm looking for another Nora Corbett to do on that other half. I know that um, Mirabilia's are a great deal bigger. I'm not ready for a Mira. Uh, I know myself. I'm not ready for a Mira. So um, we'll get. Mm, I'll I'll decide on another Nora another day. Anyways. Um, Next up, we have, I have this in another Love You More Studio sleeve. This is Barbara Anna Designs, Forest Queen. There she is. Stunningly beautiful. I am doing this on a, I think it's in, it might be an 18 count. I might have to go double check, but I, I can't say for certain. This is on a piece of Ada that I dyed myself. And it's kind of got this uh, malachite, turquoise look to it. I love the, the orange and the brown speckly splotches. But um, this, is, this is as far as I've gotten. Just the bottom bit. There she is. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do the whole piece. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the whole piece or if I'm just going to do the girl. Because on Barbara Anna's freebie, the uh, light, I think it was light. If I'm, I keep on saying that. If I'm not mistaken, I really am unsure of myself. Is it, is it? Uh, it's that obvious. I'm unsure of myself wholeheartedly. Um, I think it's called Light by Barbara Anna. I only I only did the fox. Um, I didn't do the the arch or any of the other motifs, what have you. Uh, and I finished her into a pillow, and I thought it was stunning. I thought it was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I did her on like this teal turquoisey fabric. Beautiful. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do her, just her, or if I'm going to do the whole, the whole piece. Anyways, uh, next we have, this is a uh, Autumn Lane Stitchery. I've seen it on their Etsy store labeled as Autumn Harvest, but it's also called Harvest Town with an E. Um, I am doing this on a, this is a 30, 36 count fabric of the month by Fortnite Fabrics. Um, I think it's called Stinkhorn. And you'll have to forgive me because it's kind of, this is one that I've been working on kind of recently. And the only way I can get it into my Q-Snap is because I sewed extra fabric onto the edge of it. Anyways. Um, here is where I'm at. Now, I'll, um, I'll see if I can't find a cover or what, what it, what it's supposed to look like, um, and insert it for you. But... The, uh, the negative space in the design is supposed to mimic grass, the ground. Uh, I'm going to find a frame that will allow me to get right up next to the edge of the stitches where the, where the edge is. Um, that way none of this 
is showing. None of the excess is showing. Uh, and I think that this, what I've chosen for the fabric, for the negative space, is really going to, it's going to look like autumn. It's going to look, it's going to look like it's dying, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's, I'm kind of doing it in the called for threads. Um, I'm also pulling from stash. Any, any overdyes that I have that kind of look autumn-y I'm using. Um, well, we'll see what happens, but I love this piece. I, I think this is one of the ones where they were teasing the, uh, they were teasing the design. Autumn Lane Stitchery was teasing it, and, uh, I was like, oh my god, I need that, you know? I, I just thought it was, like, the coolest thing. Alright, next, uh, we have, this is, uh, this is another Autumn Lane Stitchery. I don't have a cover photo for it. I'll, I'll try and insert a picture of part five. I think they're at part five now. This is January, part five. Yes. I'll find a picture of part five, the cover, and post it here. I've uh, barely gotten started. Um, I am doing this not on the called for fabric. I dyed this fabric myself. It is a uh, it is a thirty two count Belfast, and here we are. So as you can see, I'm also uh, not doing it as designed. Uh, I still haven't also done the first fish, not because. I think that this, at this point, it's the it's the stubbornness in me. I I don't want to do that last fish, so I haven't done the last fish. Sorry, you know, minders are sticking to each other. Um, uh, this is this is where I'm at. I'm doing uh, kind of my own conversion. I've I've changed her kind of I. Is it coral? I don't know what it is, but coming off of her shoulders and her elbows and her forearms is this stuff. I changed it to green, kind of a neon green. I thought it was like a sorceress's green. Um, I also made her uh, kind of a gray-brown head. Um, I did purchase the... Uh, the Autumn Lane Stitchery hair kit, I don't even know what you call it, add-on for the for the stitch along. Um, and I kind of just made it my own because I wanted it to be me. And there she is. I think she's stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I barely started on, on part five. I told myself that um, I wasn't going to stitch this month until I actually recorded this video. And so here we are. All right, uh, let's see here. Um, next up, next up we have, this is my new year, new start. Excuse me. This is my new year, new start. This is a uh, Northern Expressions needlework, shades of green. Uh, I am doing this on a, I, a 16 count Ada, two over one. Um, it's mostly the called for colors. Um, I think it was originally designed to be in, I can't remember the name of the dyer. Ew, sorry guys. I, 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 I can't remember. I, if I remember, I'll put it in. But I, I can't remember. Uh, so I'm doing it in Dinky Dyes, um, which is like a substitution, I guess you could say, the, the other version. Um, I'm doing this on a 16 count Ada. I actually tied, I actually dyed this with green tea. Um, and I haven't gotten the hugest start on it. Barely started. I've got the, the center there going. And... It's on a massive piece of fabric, and I just love this color. It's like a, it's a little bit, it almost has, unfortunately, it, it, uh, it's, it's kind of like a pea green, uh, 
yellow hue to it, and then there's browns in it. And I think it's, I think it's stunning. I think it'll lend itself quite well to the, to the overall piece. But we'll see. All right. Next we have. Oh. Next we have, and, and this is in my only project bag. This is my only project bag. Uh, this is this was made to me by the one and only Robert of Robert's Palace and Stitches. Um, you can find him here on YouTube and also on Instagram. Um, this bag was sent to me as a late birthday present, but it was only late because I was moving across three states. Anyways, so this design, and I'll put in uh, a picture of what it looks like um, here. It is the uh, Baba Yaga Sampler by Thread Sewer, S-O-W-E-R, like sewing your seed. And um, this is this is where I'm at. And this is one that I've been working on pretty recently, so I haven't taken it out of the Q-Snap. Um, the reason why I've been working on this so earnestly is because I'm doing this for a very, very good friend who still lives back in Alabama, somebody that I actually used to work with. Um, I think it's lovely. I've done it on this kind of, it's a hint of tea dye, uh, just a kiss, you know, just the tip, just the tip of the tea dye. Um, I'm using a DMC 311. Um, I'm doing this one over one. This is on a 28 count. This is on a 28 count Lugana that I tea dyed myself. Um, this, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this, this needle minder is, is from one of my favorite ladies of all time, Miss Vicky of Stitch and Button, who I will link below, who I think you should give some business to because you shouldn't be a salty bitch. There's just no reason for it. Um, unless you're me, in which case it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, um, I need to, I'm trying to prioritize this one because it's so near and dear to me. Um, if you believe what Garrett Coffee Stitcher says and also what Robert says, I've managed to enable quite a few people to start that. I don't know why. I just, I just work here. I don't, I don't know what it is. Anyway, next, next we have, this is, this is another Owl Forest Embroidery Kit. Um, Swamp Witch, Kikimora, uh, yeah, Kiki, Kikimora. Um, I'm using the, the kit fabric. I think it's a 28 count, maybe, I don't say. Oh, this is a 32 count. Okay, interesting. 32 count, Belfast. Um, and I was inspired by Michelle of Bindi Stitches to pull this out and get some more on it, come some more done on it. Um, but honestly, I'm I'm only working on this because there's a snail in it, and uh, snails are alive. And so you you can see well the kit uh, the kit threads are beautiful absolutely stunning gorgeous and uh, I may have missed a stitch somewhere in her dress but you you can't tell you can't tell it's there I can see it you can tell <laughs> um, I uh, I did not use the call for thread for her skin. I think I used a DMC. If I can find it, I'll put it here. You'll be able to see it. But I think it's DMC 452, maybe 452, 453. It, it was one of the colors that uh, was in the Dark Queen of the Sea stitch along which I may or may not have used the name of when I showed that earlier. I just realized. Uh, regardless, I'm not using the peachy white 
because no Swamp Witch is peachy white. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. It's uh, it's it's canon at this point. We we just we just won't have it. It's not okay. Uh, all right. Next up, we got a, a kind of a relatively new start. This is uh, this is Nevermore by Lila Stooley Studio. Here we are. Nevermore, Lila Stooley Studio. I don't know why I'm struggling. Sorry. Um, I decided that I was not going to be doing the the border at the top or the border at the bottom. I may do this kind of like very very small one at the bottom because. My fabric will allow it, and it's not because my fabric won't allow it, but it's just because I don't, I don't particularly enjoy doing that kind of stuff. So I, I'm doing this on a 25 count. This is uh, dyed by me, myself, and I. Um, I am doing this one over one, and I think I'm mostly using the call for colors. Uh, I don't have a whole lot done. But, <sighs> I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I think that there's only one, there may be one or two colors that I'm not using the call for. I had everything else, um, but that, that, that motif right there, that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I'm so glad this fabric turned out the way that I wanted it to. Um, and if you talk to Garrett, Coffee Stitcher, He'll tell you that like I was I was super nervous about this fabric. I was worried it was gonna turn out to shit. But um I gave it a little extra love and lo and behold, she works out. She's fine. So I think I think that's that's all for the whip parade. Um so we're sitting at just over an hour now. Uh let's see here. I guess if, if you stuck around this long, maybe you deserve to hear a little bit about my personal life, what's been going on, what I've been doing. Uh, some stitchy related, some not. Uh, but yeah, uh, if, you, if you don't want to hear the personal shit, you can get, get going. I mean, it's not going to hurt my feelings, I don't care. Uh, so let's see here. What have I been up to? Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I have moved from Alabama to Louisiana. Uh, we moved here in uh, September, uh, mid-September. Actually, we moved into the house on my birthday. <sighs> Talk about a birthday gift. Um, and um, a month and a half later, late October, well, no, about a month later, October, um, my husband and I, we actually had a ceremony. We, we got married. Um, and it's just been a whirlwind. This year has been insane. Uh, and uh, most of the reasons behind me not recording, me not adding on to the Floss Tube uh, channel is because I was just so overwhelmed. I felt like I didn't have anything to contribute. I think that a lot of us feel that though. Um, and I'm doing my best to, uh, to be better. And things have been tumultuous. It's been, it's been rough. And I, th I think it's fair to say that that is true for all of us. It has been rough. Uh, it's a new year. Things haven't really changed though. It's still, it's still might as well be 2020. Nothing's, nothing's changed yet. And I'm, I'm hopeful that in the next couple of weeks, things will start to iron themselves out. Um, and you know, you press and you press and you press and those wrinkles will disappear. Um, not all of them. There, there's, there's always a, there's always a couple of wrinkles, but, um, you know, it, it, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I believe in it. Uh, so, um, 
let's see here. What what else have I been up to? For for those of you that don't know, for those of you that don't follow my Instagram, uh, Z A V underscore Stitches. Um, part of my wedding was um, I stitched eleven, maybe twelve um, gifts for the people that it, that attended. I was a very small, very intimate wedding. I got very drunk. Uh, there are pictures, but there are no pictures that you'll see. Um, so part of the gift that I, that I gave was I took a, I took a motif from this. This is the hunt sampler. The designer is Linda McNally distributed by the homespun, homespun sampler. Um, I took this, the deer, well, which you can also see down here, the deer, I took the deer and I stitched it and I fashioned it onto these little wooden discs. Uh, I think that you can find these at Joann's. Um, the trick was is finding ones that were the right size. Um, as you can see, there was some, some wood burning on the back. I, I had my husband do, do some wood burning on the back there. Um, and each of our guests left with one of these, and it was, I think it was uh, probably one of my cooler ideas. Ideas. Uh, this took a lot of time, and I'm here to say, if you have anything similar planned for any kind of get together or wedding that you're planning, uh, start now or have somebody else do it because this was something that I worked on till the last day, like the night of. The night of, we were still trying to get all this shit together. Um, but weddings are intense anyways. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. And it's just another thing that uh, we can add to that list of what we've gone through and survived. Uh, so other than that... Um, since the move, it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of planning, uh, new house, lots to do, lots to fix. There's lots of upkeep, um, where I'm getting to the point now where I can start planning a garden. Um, we, we moved into a house that has, that sits on eight acres. Uh, it is, it's a lot of land and, I love it. Uh, there's so much to do, so much um, potential. There's room for an orchard, berries, a vegetable garden, chickens, you name it. Uh, so there's a lot of planning involved right now. And so my head is fully in that direction. Um, and then, of course, it, it, it was a house built in the 80s. So it's not like it's falling apart. It, it's functional. But there's there's room for improvement. There's always room for improvement, and this could be said for anything, including ourselves. Um, but you know, it's just par for the course, and uh, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Well, we'll get through it. It'll it'll be okay. Um, I think. Let me. I think that's it. There's. Um, I've got two sets of notes here because I'm neurotic, uh, and I'm sure I miss stuff, and I'll do my best to edit where I can, and I'll do my best to, um, insert pictures and information. There'll be as many links as I can provide in the description box below. Um, I am recording this probably a week before I'm able to upload it. We don't have internet here. Uh, we're using our, our cellular service, our, our uh, mobile hotspots, and it's not great. Uh, it works, uh, but not to the capacity that we need it to, or that we would expect in another major metropolitan area uh, that has internet, that doesn't fight you to the nail. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so it, it, will, it will probably be a week before I'm able to go into town to sit at the library or to sit at McDonald's 
and, well, not at, but outside of because COVID, um, I'm not, I'm not going in. Um, I'll sit outside and I'll sit in my car and, uh, and I'll, and I'll do my best to upload this as, as quickly as I can. Um, but it, it's fine. I'm not, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm not, I'm not too terribly worried about it. Um, it'll, it'll be uploaded when it's uploaded. So, so for those of you that have uh, stuck around, um, that have indulged me, that have listened, that have, um, encouraged me, that have inspired me, um, I mean, not no, I'm not going to name names because that's just not nice. Uh, for the, for, for everybody that's here, for everybody that's listening, uh, I, I thank you. Um. Sometimes there are no words. Uh, I'm thankful for for everybody. Um, so here's hoping that I can clean all this shit up because it's a fucking mess. And uh, and maybe I'll get back to stitching here soon, and you'll see another video from me uh, post haste. We'll see. We'll see. So, until next time, bye.